Hey everybody, this is Matt from Technoax Gaming. How are you guys doing? We're going to change the pace a little bit for at least one video here because uh, I happened across a video from another YouTuber named Destroying the Illusion and uh, I wanted to check this out for myself and um, just kind of explore this little image before Google removes it. Uh, granted, I don't think that this is real I think this is maybe kind of a prank, as uh, um, the other person said. This is probably just a prank being played on us. But what this is, is this is Google Mars. And they have posted a very clear image of something on the surface of Mars. And this is one of the reasons why I think we're being pranked here. Is that, like I don't think they would make that kind of mistake if this were true. But it's interesting to kind of see like the way they set this up. So we're gonna try and um, you know analyze the mechanics of this uh, image here. First and foremost, you've got the solar panels here because that would probably be the best thing um, to generate power on the surface of Mars. Obviously, you don't have oxygen, and so you can't burn anything like coal or. Or, or like gasoline or like oil or anything like that and plus you don't have any rivers to generate um, power through dams so really your only option to generate power here would be through like solar fields right here and I, th I feel like this is one of the indicators that this might be false because I can't imagine like if you're already setting up these giant facilities like, I don't think this amount of solar fields would be enough, especially from Mars, which is farther away from Earth and receives less sunlight. I don't think this would be enough to generate whatever power you need for this, like, uh, facility right here. And all the, you know, the, the power that generates, like, needed to generate all of this and, and uh, maintain all this stuff right here. And we're not just talking about like lights and heat and stuff like that, which you need more heat on Mars because obviously it's further away from the sun, it gets less heat. But then you have to also worry thing about things like, well, you've got to have a self-contained system that scrubs carbon dioxide and, and feeds uh, the facility oxygen. And obviously that would take some, some power as well. But not only that, but you can see, uh, and maybe they, they, uh, did this for a realistic effect. You can see that obviously they took it into account that Mars is probably a really dusty place and you get a lot of dust going across these solar panels and it'll probably affect the per performance on it. Um, but nonetheless, they kind of like thought about this design really well though, because uh, you can see that these solar panels actually feed this, what looks like a substation uh, and that substation probably uh, it, you know these lines go from the substation to like the buildings and that's what basically feeds the power off of these substations however you'll notice that these lines are really straight and I don't think that that's um I, unless those lines are like uh, above the ground like uh, I don't think that's an indicator of like uh, its reality uh, honestly because I like um First of all, uh, regular power lines have kind of a sag to them. And yeah, we're kind of like looking at them from above here, but they kind of like have a sag that they need to maintain to like be able to uh, um, maintain a certain power output. Um, I know it's weird. It's just something that I learned in college, basically that um, three phase power. There's a reason why that the lines that you see have a certain amount of sag, not too much where it looks kind of like a, a broken horse, but just enough so it, it basically uh, maintains a, a certain amount of power and heat and everything like that. Um, now, that now that I'm looking that, at this, maybe it is the, the case that the lines here are above the ground because I can't imagine these things being on the ground because they would basically follow the curves of this. Uh, of the craters and like the features of, of the Martian surface here. Um, we have a big facility right here. And if you'll notice like uh, a bunch of these facilities, like most of them have these fans here. And maybe the logic behind that would be um, 
you would have these uh, like units, kind of like environmental like main maintenance inside the, the, the facility. Because obviously you would need to be able to generate some amount of oxygen and also maintain um, the temperature inside these buildings. And uh, this is probably what these fans are, basically. Um, yeah. Can't really just say what these features are. Um, there's another power, um, it looks like another power substation here feeding these, this side of the, the facility here. And what's also interesting is you've got these like little, it looks like railways. Uh, maybe this is um, kind of a fast way for people to go from building to build, building without having to walk between each other. Because if you, if you thought about it, if you had a job where you had to walk between one building and another and like... That would be a really pain in the jaw right there because you would have to get on a suit, get into an airlock, make sure your airlock is secure, and then like empty the airlock, walk to the other building, get into an, another airlock, close the airlock door, and, and, and basically pressurize the airlock before you get in. If you have to walk back and forth in, inside these buildings, that would be kind of a chore to do. But uh, yeah. I wanted to, and here's like a communications antenna apparently. Um, so the sun is over here, which is interesting. And if the sun is over here, you're, this must not be pointing to earth because uh, obviously you're, the earth would be this way right here. Unless, okay, I, I take that back. I take that back because it may be that the Earth is on the orbit on the other side of the world. And not only that, you would probably need to be able to communicate to Earth through a, a satellite that's on in orbit in, um, on Mar Mars here, because this probably would not be able to kind of clear any sort of asteroid. You know, if there is like a night cycle, if there's a cycle that you need to um, uh, take into account to, for uh, on the surface of Mars, then you would probably need a satellite to basically uh, relay the message from the ground all the way to Earth here. So, yeah, okay, I can see the logic of that. Um, what I don't see, and maybe, I do see maybe this is a vehicle right here, um, are these vehicles. Like, besides this right here, there are no, no real obvious uh, vehicles. And I mean, it's interesting that you can see a vehicle like right here. And this is, this looks like an actual parking lot, which is kind of interesting. Um, you would think, and maybe it's because it's the surface of Mars that people don't want to really go all out that much. Like I don't really see any sort of like other uh, vehicles really out and about on the surface here. N not really. Um, nothing in the near facility and, and you know it's interesting that you get like black and white here uh, either black and white clarity and then blurry for everything else and then you get black and white clarity and then all of a sudden you get bam you know color and clarity with this one right here so uh, what, what else I mean I don't know what this would be I'm pretty sure that this is transportation between one building and the next. And you can kind of see the same thing right here. Maybe these are the main buildings that um, people kind of hang out with. And this is kind of like a special uh, facility or something like that. And yeah, that looks like the facility. I can't really add too much intelligent uh, things here except for it looks like this is kind of built over this uh, interesting maybe it's an excavation point right here that they're kind of trying to hint at they're like excavating something because this is definitely a different surface feature from the rest of this area so um that's interesting it looks like maybe they're they're kind of digging or are basically uncovering something around here so yeah but anyways, I, I, I wanted to basically do this to basically show you what's on this thing. I'm sure in a few days or so, they'll probably get rid of this image and, and 
they won't want you to see it or they were like ha ah, we we pranked you and everything like that and they'll just take it off and maybe i think this is basically a work shed i don't know it looks like basically a, a basic sh shed that's got basic materials here and, and and they're storing stuff over here yeah um i good job google on on the like the dust here um you can see across the buildings there's a lot of dust that they took into account when creating this image dust dust uh, lots of dust you know dust everywhere and maybe there's like a computer program that kind of like uh simulates kind of a real life dust uh you know dissemination across like vast surfaces here yeah uh yeah let me know if uh this was interesting it's a bit of a short video but uh I'm, I'm sure it it's, uh, is a little bit interesting some, to some of you guys out there. Uh, but uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.